Hey everyone, enjoy the show. Boy, folks, it's a hot one in here today. Uh, okay, we're on to our fourth piece of barbershop stuff. This is a 1920s Theo A. Koch barber chair. This is a cast iron chair. The story on this chair is I had a fella get in, I had a fella get in touch with me from Texas who had an antique oak barber chair. He had one, and then I had the matching one, so he wanted to. He had this one, he said, hey, will we do a deal could I trade mine in and get the oak antique one? I said, well, if the numbers are right, they worked out right. Went next door, had it crated, sent it to him. They took it out of the crate, put this one in the crate, and sent it back to me. He had done or had done the restoration work on this. We had it in. We did a service in detail. He did a nice job. I would be very pleased to have this chair. Redid the chrome, etc. The chair works good, so as you know, always, it's a pump up, 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 down, okay, lock, lock, then tilt back for a shave. Uh, so when they tilted them back for a shave, that's what the headrest was for, so you could lay back for a nice shave, put this so that the padding was for your ankle, so you were pretty darn comfortable when you laid back in this to get your shave. Uh, the chair works good, looks good. So when I got it in, I did a service in detail. It was all pure white, so I did my pinstriping, my normal pinstriping. I don't over pinstripe things. I don't like a lot of lines. I try to do it period correct. So we got a double line on the handles. We got a double line on the base here, and then we got a double line on the pedestal down at the bottom. This chair came out really nice. You're probably wondering, well, why is this button tucked and this is not because if you button tuck the bottom there's virtually no padding left it's harder than hell I mean there's like nothing it's really hard but when you lean in this it's comfortable so the reason it's not tucked down here button tucked is because we wanted it to be comfortable this is actually I've been actually sitting in this one watching some TV here and there done very nicely plating is nice we did do a little, there's a couple little scratches. We fixed those, as you can see. You can look at it in the video. Super presentable, super nice. Replated, Theo A. Koch, 1920s, cast iron, heavier than hell barber chair. Uh, if you buy this, we will send it next door to Orange County Crating, which is our partners over here. We will have this professionally crated. It will go on a truck. It will be hand delivered to you. They will come with a lift gate to your place of business or your home. Let the gate down, push it in, you get your screw gun out, whoop, here you go. Take your chair out, put it in your home. Beautiful chair, somebody's enjoy it. Great to watch TV in, great to give haircuts in, if the wife likes to give haircuts. 1920s Theo A. Koch porcelain barber chair. Anyway, thanks for watching our videos. If you want it, we'll get it next door, get it shipped out, get it to you. You'll enjoy the heck out of it. What a beautiful piece of artwork. I mean, these chairs are artwork not just chairs. How you doing today? So uh, we really want to tell you we appreciate you watching our videos. We've done about 1,600 of them to date, and uh, you guys respond very nicely to it. 
and we really appreciate it. So if you like them, man, smash the subscribe button, right? Boom, hit the subscribe button and click on the reminder button. And if you do that, you will get reminded. There's a little bell there. Click on that. Uh, what we'd like you to do is make comments and please make sure you share it with your friends. You guys are taking us to the top of the YouTube channel and if you do those three things, you'll be able to see uh, us real time, especially if you hit the bell to remind you. It'll come up every time on your phone. We try to do a lot of fun stuff for y'all and we appreciate you watching our videos. So let's smash it, let's grab it, let's watch them, let's comment, let's send us comments, share it with your friends. If you do that, you'll take us to the top and we would really appreciate it. These are Mantiques. Antique? Mantique. These guys sell Mantiques. This is their store. We're picking, we're bringing stuff every day, in and out, in and out, in and out. We're, we're, we're shaking and baking. These are their customers. Give me the rundown on the GMC. This lived in a bar in Ghent, in Belgium. Follow Jim and Jeff from 9 to 5 or after hours as they buy, sell, and restore the coolest stuff for the coolest collectors worldwide.